you have always displayed supernatural gifts since a very young age and this is for a very select group of people though tiktok tends to surprise me but spirit keeps showing me a number of things this morning um i keep seeing like scenes from your childhood specifically regarding a father figure a male this could be a father figure a grandfather but something about like a caretaker role um i don't know if this person was or is a nurse something maybe with pet care with elderly something of that of that nature um that this person was was like kind of assigned to be a caretaker of yours or or a guide of yours and also another thing i keep being shown is like something about a cigarette cigarettes could be significant but um spirit keeps showing me like you like doing a flick of the wrist just kind of like an expressive motion and like a cigarette just being totally flung out of someone's someone's like hand something very supernatural and kind of freaky and so let's see what's coming through for the collective so it feels like you have displayed very very intense beautiful gifts from a very young age something very supernatural has just kind of always been been around you been about you been just something kind of within grasp of you something that you've had access to since a very young age i'm seeing members that maybe things that you just don't even remember quite yet is what i'm here to tell some of y'all and so yeah it feels like you've had these gifts access to these gifts and that it feels like there was at least one person that was shown these gifts of yours that was it feels like it was designed and selected for this person to protect you. So it kind of almost feels like maybe towards the later later stages of, of, of this relationship with this person, it feels like you're in no contact with this person. Um, that the, 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 the protectiveness became overprotective. Like this person started getting scared of your gifts and you recognizing them and you seeing them and you using them and getting the reins on them. Um, it also feels like maybe there was a lack of support in terms of, of just like accept, accepting your gifts, getting the reins on your gifts, ha having discipline in your gifts. So maybe you have been tapping into these things recently and kind of just, you know, reparenting yourself and like doing the dang thing, being divinely guided and led maybe to books, uh, to courses, to content creators that are able to help guide you in the things that that were kind of missed so let's see let's get a few cards to the collective hmm <laughs> let's see we have a couple cards we have judgment and the hangman the hangman has been coming out a lot okay so spirit spirit is saying with judgment you have gone through the ringer with things due to having access to these gifts access to a higher level of freedom and with this judgment, I feel like you have many, many scars, maybe energetically, like you just have, you just have a lot of like wounds. You have a lot of things that you have worked through, but it's kind of interesting with the cocoon here as well. And then this dragonfly, like, you know, it's kind of, kind of like a, a metamorphosis that you've been going through. Um, just be, being able to recognize the growing pains, knowing that you are, that you are learning very quickly and that you're doing things in a very efficient manner is what I'm hearing to tell a lot of y'all too but spirit is saying just wait like the best is yet to come you have a very beautiful and exciting life ahead of you keeping some things hush hush and quiet too um and just know that everything that happened has happened to you truly happened for you it happened for a reason it was all in divine timing and, and alignment i'm seeing that you were given even through the harshness that you were given a lot of tools is the thing you were able to see see kind of these whippings like as tools you picked up these the tools from these experiences and spirit saying that you have a lot of integrating integration and integrating that is happening at this time with the hangman so surrendering as well as coming has been coming through a lot with the hangman surrendering to the process trusting the process keeping things as simple as possible in your life to help the process be more clear and guided for you and let's get one more card for the collective the hangman i feel like you're still cooking i feel like you're still cooking i feel like you're someone that's highly intelligent you're able to kind of get this vision of things for sure but as we are saying it's, it's even better than you even know so just trust where you're being guided how you're being guided to be using your energy at this time and yeah any anyone that that had uh, access to you or your gifts and your abilities it was for a reason and you have the upper hand in things because it's like your your etheric your etheric body was like allowed that to be kind of leaked in a sense and we also have the father of cups the king of cups just to know that love wins 
Rest easy in knowing that love simply wins. Keep leading in love. Don't feed fear. Be mi being mindful of where you're putting your focus, where you're putting your energy, who you're putting your energy into, all these things. Like leading with from a place of love and not fear. And we also have the Daughter of Cups here too. And a playful energy is really calling you to keep embracing it, to having a playful curiosity of these things that have happened to you and just, you know, letting the past go with love and just being so excited for what's coming because you've done so much clearing of people, places, and things that you just have to know that you have cleared the path for beauty to be expanded in your life, in your reality. And we have the Ace of Wands here too, purity and discussion. I love the Ace of Wands. I always see like a snap, very significant change could be happening very quickly for you. Like kind of spirit kind of keeps having the song day and night, like, <laughs> You have been something that's day and night. You've had this like wake up call for the best and for the better. So just loving all the versions of you that you created in order to, to survive and like make it through these difficult times. We have the Ten of Wands on the bottom here too. It's funny with the Ace and Ten of Wands, huh? So endings and beginnings. Getting out of that people pleaser energy. Don't be afraid to be selfish and just take care of yourself and prioritize yourself so that you're feeling from a full cup because i feel like you're someone that's very giving that's the people pleaser energy you want to help you want to help so hard <laughs> but you're saying that this new level of service that you're 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 being led to is powerful we have the seven of wands here too a lot of fire coming through and because you're exiting that people pleaser energy you're going to be you're going to be of service to others you're going to be having such a level of satisfaction here being able to u utilize your gifts properly also not throwing pearls before swine is what I'm hearing to tell some of y'all. Like, don't be afraid to be protective of your light, of your gifts, of your power. You know, being a little selfish is totally fine because you cannot fill from an empty cup, you know. The way I see you giving, it's it's something that is a different level than maybe something you, anything you've ever, ever, ever even seen others do. So I'm hearing you're ready for this level and just to take care of yourself and know that the rest will be taken care of. I hope that this resonates and found you well.